Hi everybody, I'm Mark Wallace. Welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm in Puerto Madero, Buenos Aires, joined by Juana. And I wanna show beginning photographers how to get better portraits by choosing some settings on their camera. So this is for beginning photographers. And so what we're gonna do is I'm using a Sony a7 III kit uh, camera. So I've got a kit lens and a kit body. We're not gonna use any kind of flashes or reflectors or any anything but natural light to get a better photo. So to begin with, what I'm doing is I have my camera set to full auto. So it's on the green square on my dial here. It's in full auto, the camera's making all my decisions. Really the only thing I can decide is uh, if my camera zoomed in or out, where I point my camera and when I push the shutter button. That's pretty much it. So we're gonna start there. So I have my camera at 28 millimeters, all the way zoomed out, and we're gonna take our very first picture. Okay, Juana lista, perfecto, and we're gonna take this shot. And we look at that, it's not so great. So in my thinking as a beginning photographer is, hey, I've got this really awesome stuff behind. We've got all these boats and really cool stuff and we've been in a really neat location, that should look good, but it doesn't. Why is that? Well, number one, the light is really bad here. So we're gonna deal with that later. But the other thing, the settings on our camera will change how this looks. So let's begin by changing the mode that we're using on our camera. So instead of auto, we're gonna put our camera in program. So on your camera, it doesn't matter if it's a Sony or a Nikon or a Canon or whatever, there should be a mode that's called program. On the dial, it's probably just a P. And what that allows you to do is to change the parameters of your camera, the shutter speed, the aperture value, without making any mistakes. The camera is going to put some guardrails up so you don't make any uh, decisions that will affect the exposure of your photo. So what we want to do, because this is a portrait, is we wanna make the background as out of focus as possible. So what we can do is, once we're in program mode, on our camera, there is either a dial on the back or on the front. It's different on different cameras, so you'll have to look in your manual to see which one you use, or just move it around. What you'll see is there are some numbers in your camera, either in the viewfinder or on the back, and one of them will have a really big number, like 640, 1000, or 2000, something like that. And the other number will be a, a digit. It'll be 5.6 or 8.0, something like that. What we're looking at is that little number, and we want it to be as small as possible. So when I look through my lens, I'm looking through here, I'm rolling my dial, and I'm seeing my numbers change. I want that little number to be as small as possible. So on this camera, it's 3.5. What that's going to do is open up the aperture that's inside my lens. It's this little uh, iris that opens up, and it'll make the background as out of focus as possible. So I'm gonna look through here, I'm gonna roll my dial till it says 3.5. I don't care about the other numbers, it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna take a shot, and that makes the background more out of focus. If we look at that, don't look at Juana, look at the background, you can see it's out of focus. If I go the other direction, so I'm gonna roll my dial the other direction, so I'm gonna keep doing that until it goes to the other number, this is 22. I'll take a shot. And now if we look at that, you can see that the background is much more in focus. So we want the background to fall out of focus. So roll your dial till you get that small number. Play with this a little bit and you'll see a big difference. The other thing we can do is not only can we put it in program mode, roll our dial till we get a small number, we can zoom in. That's gonna clean things up. Instead of seeing everything, the camera's only gonna see a little bit. So I'm gonna have to step back a little bit. Okay, Juana. Lista, so I'm rolling my dial till it says 5.6, that's as small as it goes. I'll take a shot. And now you can see that things are cleaned up quite a bit. It's getting better, but we still have a huge issue. And that is this light. The light's coming from the side, really bad shadows on our faces. And so we can fix that in several ways. If we were more advanced, we might use a flash or a reflector or diffusion panel, something like that, but we're not. We're just starting out. So what we can do is, number one, we can wait until it's a different time of day. Number two, we can wait to, for the clouds to come out and fix those shadows. Or number three, we can go somewhere else. And that's what we're gonna do, because just right over there, it's shady. And shady places make better portraits. So let's do that next. 
Now we've done one simple thing. We just walked about 10 feet. Now we're in the shade. We don't have the cool boats behind us, but they weren't really doing much anyway. The important thing is that our subject looks good, not necessarily the background. So now that we have a nice shade, what I can do is I can do everything I did before. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use program mode. I'm going to roll my dial to that number is the uh, smallest number. So from here, when I do that, it looks like it's 5.6. And now I can just start shooting away. The thing that I want to make sure I do, though, is to watch what's behind Juana. And so I want to make sure there are no distractions. I don't want anything coming out of her head, no tree branches growing out of her ears, nothing like that. But by zooming in and using a small number, we're going to get pretty good results. And the background is going to be out of focus, so we probably won't have any of those distractions. So now that we have everything set up, program mode, rolling our dial to get a really small number, zooming in to make sure that distractions aren't showing up and shooting in the shade will get great results. So let's start shooting. Thank you so much, Juana. This was really a lot of fun. Don't forget, just put your camera in program mode. Get that aperture number as small as possible. Zoom in and then find some shade. You're going to get a much better portrait. Don't forget, we have tons of videos about photography of all kinds. Portrait photography, studio photography, product photography, scenic photography, and even making videos and audio, all kinds of stuff right here on Adorama TV. It's completely free. So click that subscribe button and turn on the bell because we have tons of live streams so you can ask questions in real time. You don't want to miss out on that. And if you want to see more of Juana's work, I've included a link to her Instagram in the description of this video. Sadly, I'm leaving Argentina. I'm heading north again. And so this is the last video that we're going to be making together. If you want to see more videos that I've made with Juana here in Argentina, check out the description of this video. I've added links to a bunch of those videos as well to help you learn more about your photography. Thanks again for joining us and I'll see you again next time.